Hi Zwifters! My name is Vian Paper. I've been an indoor cycle instructor for more than 10 years at various cycling locations, both in my home country of South Africa and also more recently here in the US where I reside. Now, I'm a passionate Zwifter. I've been a massive fan of this incredible training tool ever since the day I first heard of it. I mean, global group rides and races right from your own home. How incredible is that? Now, as an instructor, I've always seen great potential in what can be done with Zwift. And today, I'd like to show to you how we can use the structured workout feature on Zwift to make training indoors just even more fun and interactive. Now, if you've done one of the Zwift workouts recently, you might have noticed that when compared to your traditional indoor cycle classes or say your spin classes, these sessions are missing one critical thing, an instructor. Right, so sure you have those text, sort of text instructions across the screen giving you a couple of pointers, but what if you could actually have an instructor available right there to walk you through each step of the workout, motivating you and pushing you to hit those power targets. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of what you need to get set up for this one-of-a-kind workout on Zwift. Well, in my opinion, an enjoyable indoor workout will always have two components to it. Number one, an energetic instructor, and second, great music. All right, so how are we gonna bring those two elements to Zwift? So here's the plan. Each video will be available as an on-demand video on this YouTube channel, Mountain Road. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. What that's gonna allow you to do is get those notifications and as soon as a new video is posted, you'll know about it. So what's gonna happen in the video? Well, my instructions in the video will sync up perfectly with the workout that you're doing on Zwift. Each video will also then be accompanied by the Zwift workout file. That can be downloaded from my blog, as you'll find in the links below, and that then also saved into your custom workouts folder. We'll get back to that at a later point. To make things simple, during the first few weeks of these on-demand videos, we'll simply be following the included Zwift workouts. We want to make things simple and fun, and really don't want to overcomplicate things at the beginning. Now, during the videos, I'll be able to give you clear guidance as to what we're doing, why we're doing it, and in general, just sort of provide a nice energetic and motivational input as you ride off. I have full confidence that Zwifters are very creative people. I mean, I've seen a lot of Zwifting pain cave photos on social media. And so I'm pretty confident that each person will come up with the perfect solution on how to best view these videos while also riding on Zwift. The solutions could be endless. Maybe it's your iPhone or iPad you have set up next to your computer. Maybe it's just a downscaled window of the YouTube video showing within your Zwift screen. Or perhaps it's additional screen altogether. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Awesome, all right, so step number one, get an interactive instructor, check. Now, on to the music. Any decent instructor will tell you that they spend almost as much time selecting their playlist for a particular workout as they do on setting up the workout in the first place. Now, although neither Zwift nor myself will have the licensing rights to simply just broadcast the music, we can come up with a very clever workaround. Spotify. The social elements of this music streaming service allows anybody to set up their playlist and share with the rest of the community. Each workout will come with a fun playlist and the name of that playlist will be provided in the workout's description. So what you'll do is you'll make sure you head over to Spotify, search for that playlist and then you can either download it if you're a premium member or simply just have it on hand and ready to stream as soon as I give you the go. On my cue, you'll press play. And this will allow you to have that music playing at exactly the same time that I'm listening to it during my instructing. And hey, if you don't like my playlist, you really don't have to listen to it. Put on another playlist. Now that is 
obviously not a benefit that you get when you go to an actual cycle studio. Now, as of the visuals, the music setup can involve multiple clever setups. Maybe you have a smart speaker, something like an Amazon Echo or a Google Home device that you can set up. Or maybe you decide to just simply play all your Zwift sounds along with your Spotify playlist straight from your computer. Or perhaps you just dedicate that separate iPhone or iPad to just purely playing the music. Now, as before, the combinations are really plentiful and I am sure Zwifters will come up with very clever solutions to have both the visuals and the music playing at the same time. This really is the perfect mix of the virtual and reality all coming together to provide the most entertaining Zwift workout you've ever done. So join me and all the other Zwifters around the world as we take Zwift workouts to a whole nother level.